The many states that make up America are important for their own reasons, but I think Wisconsin has them all beat. Growing up there for 10 years, I never became bored with the many things that make up the state. Whether you're going on vacation there or living there forever, there are unique things to do in each and every city. From the city of Madison to the sports teams all around to even the famous foods, you'll never be bored in the Wisconsin. Of all the great things there are to do, the places they happen in are the best. Wisconsin is made up of many great cities, but my favorite is Madison, Wisconsin. State Street was and is an important part of Madison, and it just so happens to be in the heart of the city. State Street is known for a lot of things, but its lack of cars is its most interesting feature. As Emily Neinfeldt of the Badger Herald notes, in 1970, there was a vote to block off all motor vehicles to the famous stretch. This led to only letting pedestrians cross and walk the streets. The Orpheum Theater, built in 1926, is located on State Street. For the Orpheum Theater website, its Art Deco exterior and French Renaissance interior make it a Madison icon. Also known as Mr. Theater, the Orpheum first opened its doors on March 31, 1927 and was originally built as a vaudeville venue. Today, it's operated by French production concerts and hosts events such as concerts, comedy shows, weddings, and more. Camp Randall not only accommodates the athletes and students of the nearby university, but the many people who visit from around the country. Camp Randall is home to the university's football team, and as mentioned on the UW Badgers website, the site was owned by the Wisconsin Agricultural Society prior to the Civil War. In 1861, the land was given to the government as a military training center and was later returned as state fair property. After moving to Milwaukee, the legislature was urged to regain the land, and in 1983, the state presented it as a memorial athletic field. The current capacity, standing at 76,129, ranks among the nation's largest school and stadiums. Known as the heart and soul of Madison, the Memorial Union has been creating a social space since 1907. In 1928, the Memorial Union opened and has been popular ever since, hosting events such as movies in the park, concerts, carnivals, awareness benefits, and more, which are catered with vendors with indoor and outdoor seating. If you choose to sit outside, you get a view of Lake Mendota. Other than the view, the Union website notices that the terrace is used for educational purposes, as the student body utilizes it for out-of-classroom learning. Although the cities are important, the sports are a big part as well. Sports are an important part of any college town, but how many people can say they are an important part of their state? The Badgers are one of many well-known sports teams in Wisconsin. The team is good, but the traditions are even better. House of Pain's song, Jump Around, is played between the third and fourth quarters at the games. The tradition began on Saturday, October 10, 1998, at the homecoming game against Purdue. In 2003, they underwent renovations, including adding luxury suites. The administration told the athletic director not to play the song at the home opener, thinking that 80,000 jumping fans might knock something loose. The fans weren't happy, so they sent letters and made phone calls to the offices. Meg Jones from the Milwaukee Journal Centennial writes, Once they realized they wouldn't be able to jump around, they booed, raised fingers, turned their backs to the field, and generally pouted. The university later hired an engineer to verify the stadium wouldn't crumble and order was restored for the next game. The Badgers are important, but you can't forget about the Packers. Packers.com notices that the Green Bay Packers, organized on August 11, 1919, they are the most storied franchise in the NFL. On August 14th, a meeting was held, and 25 players, including team captain Curly Lambeau, Lambeau were in attendance. On August 27th, 1921, the American Professional Football Association awarded the franchise to the Packers. Although most fans know that the Super Bowl trophy is called the Vince Lombardi Trophy, they often don't know the full story behind it. Vince Lombardi, at the age of 45, became the head coach and general manager of the Green Bay Packers. He led the team to six championship game wins, including once in 1960, all the way to 1967. Along with two Super Bowl wins, the very first two ever. In 1970, the league changed the name of the trophy from the World Championship Game Trophy to the Vince Lombardi Trophy after he passed away from cancer. Not much can top sports in Wisconsin, but food is one of them. Famous foods are common in Wisconsin, but supper clubs are a staple. According to the Wisconsin Historical Society, supper clubs originally started popping up in the 1930s and 40s, and are still open today. Their supper clubs are native to Wisconsin and are open primarily for supper. At these classic restaurants, you can find old-time drinks and foods such as the Old Fashioned and the Relish Tray. Some are fancy and some are very laid back, but the fancy supper clubs have been, even, have been built recently. 
Some may even have been renovated from their original form. Supper clubs have been around for decades and have Northwoods qualities. When I think of one, when I think of Wisconsin, I think of one thing: cheese. Cheese is a huge part of Wisconsin, but why? In an article published by Union Star Cheese, it states that in 1841, after European immigrants came to Wisconsin, Ann Pickett built the first cheese factory. Soon later, Hiram Smith built the first full-scale cheese factory, and in 1864, Chester Hazen built the first large-scale cheese factory in Ladoga, Wisconsin. In 1921, Wisconsin became the first state to grade its cheese for quality. Its quality assurance and central location for distribution makes Wisconsin the nation's cheese state. In 1922, more than 2,800 cheese factories were spread around Wisconsin. Today, there are 15,000 dairy farmers and over 1.2 million cows each. each. On, an average, on average, 18,500 pounds of cheese are made per year. With the many attractions and lots of historical value, Wisconsin is a great city. From the city of Madison to the sports teams all around to even the famous foods, you'll be busy for days. By spending my childhood there for over 10 years, I'll be the first person to tell you why Wisconsin is the place to be. With the many things that make up each city, you'll be sure to have a full schedule. Whether you like attractions, foods, or sports, you'll be sure to find something for everyone.